Campaign Africa commemorates the 60th anniversary since the formation of the Organization of African Unity. This is Uganda, the largest producer of bananas in sub-Saharan Africa. Known as the Banana Republic, this country produces 9 million tons of bananas in over 95 varieties, which generate about 3 million tons of waste every year. We generate a lot of waste from the banana gardens. So I kept thinking, if this waste can be used for textiles, then we can be able to provide a sustainable product to the world. And then I started the journey for developing textile fibers from the waste stems. Bananas are one of the world's most wasteful crops. And these giant stems are a part of the problem. Farmers typically burn them, but that pollutes the air. So instead, one company in Uganda has figured out how to pulverize them into fiber to make rugs, placemats, even hair extensions. So could bananas become a green alternative to cotton or silk? We visited the headquarters of TexFed in the outskirts of Kampala to find out. Every banana stem only fruits once in its lifetime before it rots or catches a virus. And for every ton of fruit, plantations produce two tons of debris. But in those mounds of refuse, Kimani Mutori saw potential. He founded TexFed in 2013 after discovering his love for hand weaving in college. I cannot finish using the waste that is out there. It's too much. First, workers cut the stems into celery-shaped chunks and leave them out to dry in the sun. Then, they feed those strands into an extractor, like this one. This is a crucial step and the only part of the process that requires machinery, and it's not cheap. This unit costs anywhere from $1,000 for a used one to $10,000 brand new. That price presents an obstacle for expanding this business. The rest of the work is done by hand. The extracted fibers dry again until they feel like a silky yarn, but one that is as strong as rope. At this point, it's also ideal for dyeing. The final stop is the weaving shed, where the making of household goods and handicrafts begins. Some of the designs on these rugs are inspired by traditional East African patterns. Other products are custom made for clients. It can take up to a month to weave a rug. The price varies, but many start at around $500. TexFed employs 23 people and even offers an internship program for students. The problem that we have here in our country, we study, we get our degrees, but we don't have opportunities. Esther Ainebiona has been at the company for about a year. She started as an intern and is now one of the main weavers. Why I like the people I work with is because they are motivating, they help. There are different groups of people around. It's a very good thing because you interact with people of all ages. Banana textiles have been around for centuries in countries like the Philippines, Nepal, and Japan. But TexFed is one of the first companies to bring it to Uganda. And the potential is huge. My name is Asara Chinji Kawesa, CEO of uh, Biojigso Limited, a company based in uh, Wuziga, uh, a village in Kampala as well. Uh, 
We are uh, innovators of uh, natural hair, uh, biodegradable natural hair made from banana fiber. Uh, it's one of our innovation, hopefully the in uh, worldwide. Uh, reason why we uh, embarked on this uh, innovation, Uganda is the third uh, growing country of banana in the whole world, but uh, the banana fiber has been thrown away. Uh, especially the sugar stem has been uh, cut and mulched the banana plantations and uh, yet we, you could uh, use it to get uh, biodegradable hair, you could use it to get uh, different products almost like uh, 10 industries made from the same raw material. So one of our low-hanging fruit uh, uh, product we decided to, to push forward was uh, the hair because uh, we are into environmental protection products and uh, the synthetic hair is actually affecting our soil and environment because uh, it's been thrown all over and uh, it ends up in our soil, it ends up in our water resources because it's plastic. All the synthetic hair we are using currently as ladies to make our hair or beautify ourselves is all made from uh, synthetic and uh, it's not good for our environment. So we came up with the alternative, which actually has picked up the momentum, especially from uh, people who are interested in uh, using biodegradable products and they are getting out of plastic. We are encouraging our customers, if they finish using this uh, hair and they're tired of it, or they don't want to re -dye it, they can actually sell it back to us because we started making uh, sanitary towels and uh, make, uh, we're planning to save as much as we can. We can reuse it to make different products. You can make gypsum boards, you can make uh, sanitary towels, as I said, you can make uh, many uh, stuff made from uh, these uh, banana fiber without actually dumping it. You sell it back to us or sell it uh, back to those who, uh, guys who are making different uh, products made from uh, banana fiber. We all know what is fast fashion is doing in our, in our ecosystem, in our environment, in our world. So I started studying the material. How can I blend uh, banana fiber with organic, my, organic cotton? I had many failures. Until recently, I had the my first breakthrough of having a fine material where it is washable, can clean it, and yeah, it can develop a tie out of it. I had passion for art when I was studying my high school. And then from there, I used that particular passion to go into an intubation program. But then I was expo exposed to this particular material, like the material which comes out of the stem of the, fibre, of the banana tree, which has elevated me to create a, a brand. As an African child in Uganda, I grew up playing with fibers. I made dolls out of them while watching my brothers make balls out of fibers. Today, Kato Ashraf teaches me how to smoothen out a banana fiber to revolutionize the fashion industry. I will never get worried that I won't have materials tomorrow as long as we Ugandans are eating bananas on a daily basis. There is no rocket science in what we are doing here, no. Even people who come to learn here, they don't take much time to, to learn. But this is just the beginning. I can tell you that banana fiber is the next fiber. The next fiber in terms of sustainable uh, fibers for fashions, and not just for fashions, for everything. Africa, channeling wealth to good use.